put taken apart here. Um, but we're going to go through what's on the hopper first and then go through what's on the table after. So in the hopper itself right now we have a middle connect piece and our depositing sleeve right here. On the inside, you also have, here's the rest of the depositing sleeve that has a 19 head on it, which is important because that's threaded into the hopper. Because we're going to take this out here. So I have a 19 and a 19. And so if we brace from one end to crank it, which way is it going? So we're bracing, we're holding on this side so that we can take it out of, take these two pieces apart as we take it out of the hopper. Maybe. Do you want to hold this one, Chris? Come around. <laughs> we can actually get it. There we go. So now we have started to loosen up that piece. We're taking the depositing sleeve out of out of the hopper itself while taking off the middle connect piece. We have to replace the part or take everything apart even more for cleaning. This is what we're going to be doing. However, these do not normally have to come out for any kind of cleaning. Yeah, I'm not I do not recommend using power tools on this though, because you will put too much torque on it and end up causing damage to either your hopper or your depositing parts. Here is our depositing piece. So from there, we have our depositing sleeve that was threaded into the hopper here, so that it's a secure fit, so none of your slurry passes through. And below that is a middle connect piece. And the part we're gonna go through after that is the parts inside of the bottom here with the adapter. We call this our adapter, which is the bottom layer of the hopper and injection before the manifold. So we have the adapter piece alone by itself. It's threaded onto the middle connect sleeve. But inside of this is the parts that we need to go over. You have your retainer clip in the bottom, which is what is going to hold your spring above that in place in the, hop, in the depositing part so that we don't lose our place. So it doesn't slide through and has its action because we're gonna put our ball bearing on top of it there. And from the ball bearing, we're going to connect our middle connect sleeve without losing the ball. We do have some Teflon tape on this one because there is no gummy around the edges of this, no slurry. So here's our adapter and middle connect sleeve that then once on the hopper will connect to our depositing sleeve as well. And then these threads are where your hopper is sitting.